G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is a special way of solving simultaneous equations. Now I've been looking at these in other videos, uh, I've been looking at the, the, the usual way of solving them, but this is, oh yes, being in the, in the uh, spirit of the uh, Tech Math Channel, which loves looking at ways of uh, solving things using special tricks as much as we can. This is, looks at a special trick of how you can use solve these fairly rapidly. So I'm going to show you how this works. So usually what you do is you'd be trying, this is a simultaneous equation, you'd be usually trying to uh, get the numbers in front of these particular uh, variables here the same. Okay. So if you're not 100% sure what a simultaneous equation is, you might want to check out uh, just a couple of the backlinks I'm going to put up now. So this is for you guys who are a, a little bit aware of what simultaneous equations are. Now the way that you can solve them really, really quickly using uh, this method is this. What you do is first to work out x, we do this. We go x equals. Now, we're going to do a bit of our cross, uh, we're going to be a bit of cross multiplication with the coefficients we have here. The first one we're going to do is we're going to multiply these two, okay, 2 and 26, and we're going to get the answer at 52. And from that, we're going to take away these ones, okay, where we cross multiply 7 and 13. So, 7 take away, th 7 times 13 is how much? The answer to that is 91, okay. So, the difference between 52 and 91, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same sort of thing here. We're going to start with uh, these particular ones where we go 2 times 4 is 8 and 7 times 3 which is 21. We're going to take that from that. Okay? Have you got that method? Okay? Just It's really, really important you, you do it in these uh, this particular order. Okay? So we're going to start off, I think the, probably the easiest way is we're going to start off with this particular one here. We're going to multiply it by this Okay, it's going to give us this one. This one down here is this. Okay, and from the bottom, the one over here is this, and the one over here is this. Okay, so 52 take away 91. You're going to get the answer of how much? We're going to get 39. Okay, minus 39. And then 8 take away 21. We're going to get the answer of minus 13. So, these negatives cancel each other out. 39 over 13, we get the answer. 39 divided by 13 of 3. So, x equals 3. That's a pretty cool method, right? Okay, you know it's going to take a bit of uh, getting used to. Uh, how do we get y? Well, we have to substitute in to our equation here. So, if 3x is, if x equals 3, means it's going to be 9. 9 plus 2y equals 13. This means that 2y, we're going to take 9 off both sides, equals 4. That means y equals 2. Just check our answer here. So 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 2y, well, y is 2, we're going to get 14. So 12 plus 14 is 26. It's correct. Okay, what about we go through another example here? Alright, so I'll rub that out, and we'll put another example up. Get rid of that. Uh, we'll get a second example here. What about we do um, 3x plus 2y equals 24, and we have 8x plus 3y equals 50. Okay, so the method we're going to be doing that once again is we're going to be starting with this one here. Okay, I'm going to get what x equals first. So x equals, get my line here. I'm going to start here. And to get the ones on this side, I'm going to multiply, I better change colours, this number by this number, so 100. And to get the one, um, I can get take away from this one by this one, okay, which is uh, 24 times 3. The answer to that is 72. And 
to get the bottom ones now we're going to go this one by this one two eights the 16 take away three by three which is nine okay what do we end up with 100 takes 72 the answer is 28 and 16 take 9 the answer is 7 so 28 divided by 7 the answer is going to be 4 okay substituting in once again so this means by the way x equals 4 so let's substitute that into our equation okay 3 fours are 12 okay plus 2y equals 24 so I'm going to take 12 on both sides I'm going to end up with 2y equals taking 12 on both sides 12 that means y equals 6 so I should be able to substitute these values in and see if they're correct so if x is 4 4 8 32 plus if 6 times 3 is 18 and indeed that does equal 50 correct answer Okay, what about one more example? Okay, so let's have a look at this example. We have 2x plus 2y equals 18, and 3x plus 14y equals 49. Okay, so remember what we do. x equals, I put this number over, and we're going to multiply it once again. You're going to get more and more use of these. So, 2 times 49 is 98. And from that, I'm going to take 18 times 14. Okay, 18 times 14. If you remember how to do these, I've got a video on how to do these really, really rapidly. And hopefully the answer you're going to get is going to be 252. Okay. What we have next is 3 twos, 6, and 14 times 2, which is 28. Okay, so what we're going to get, uh, 98 take away 252, we get the answer of 154, minus, and 6 take away 28, we're going to get the answer of minus 22. Okay, we can actually cancel these two negatives out, just to make it look a bit prettier. Um, now 154 divided by 22 we can even cancel that down if we want to make it a bit uh, nicer so this will become 11 divide both sides by 2 this side here is going to become 77 so 77 over 11 x equals 7 okay if x equals 7 I can substitute values in now into this first equation so 2 times x is 14 2 times 7 is 14 plus 2y equals 18. Okay, so 2y, I'm going to take 14 off both sides. I'm going to get the answer of 4. Okay, 14 off 18 is 4. And that means y, therefore, equals 2. So our two answers, x equals 7, y equals 2. I've substituted into equation 2, just to double check. So, x 7 times 3 is 21, plus 14 times y, which is 28. Indeed, the answer is 49. Hey, it's a pretty cool method, eh? It's a good little math trick. Um, now, just a few little things you may wonder with this, um, which you might have picked up along the way, and that's uh, some of the ordering issues that might occur, okay? I'll show you what I mean by that. So, let's just say I'll, I'll get rid of these ones here. Now, what you might realise when you're doing these is this. If you can do x, what you can also do for this is put y back there. It's disappeared in my rubbing out. What you could also do is you can actually, it's not really, really that important which one you take away from which one first, but as long as you're fairly consistent. And I'll show you what I mean by this. Say I had decided to do this one first. Okay, 14 times 18, which is again uh, 252. And I took this one off it, which is 98. Okay, that's fine. As long as I started down here last time, I start here this time. So 14 take 2 is 28, and I'm taking 3 times 2, which is 6. 
I'll still get the right answer, but the major thing to remember is for these ones, say on the left hand side, you either want to start all on the bottom or all on the top. Okay? It's a pretty cool method anyway. Anyway, I hope you like that. Uh, any comments, any suggestions, see you next time.